What's up guys, Tech Freak back here with another video and in this video guys I'm going to be showing you more top 10 compatible city tweaks with iOS 8.3 jailbreak. Now before you get started with this video, make sure that you watch my video on how to fix mobile substrate that I'll be leaving down below in the description because none of these tweaks will work if you don't fix mobile substrate so make sure you watch that video first and then go ahead and watch this video. This is part 4, so make sure you watch part 3 and part 2 and part 1 as well for more CD tweaks like this. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. The first CD tweak is called Cache Clearer. Now basically what this does, it allows you to clear some cache from individual applications. So once you install the tweak, you can go ahead and go to General, and then go to Usage, and then go to Manage Storage and go to any application that you wish to clear its cache so let's go ahead and go to Facebook as you can see its, it's documents and data are 170 megabytes so if you want to clear that you can just tap on clear apps cache which will appear after you download the tweak and after that once you tap on that I'm going to take a look at documents and data and leave it to load a little bit and as you can see this banner will appear that told me that you reclaimed the certain number of bytes and as you can see by going back again, you'll find the Facebook documents and data are now taking only 152 kilobytes. So that's just saving more storage, and it's a very nice CD tweak. Hot speed allows you to change the speed of fading of the volume HUD. So let's say, as you can see, mine here is very quick. So when I'm changing the volume, it fades away really quickly, and that's because of hot speed. Now this becomes really useful if you are watching a video and you want to raise the volume a little bit. Sometimes it becomes a really annoying thing that the HUD stays for a long time. Now from inside settings, if you go to hot speed settings after you install it, so scroll down right here till I find hot speed, you can set the exact amount of time. So let's go and make it zero. As you can see, it will just appear like in a second, and that's really nice. So I like to keep it on zero two, is which is not bothering me, and that's very nice. All right, the next city tweak doesn't have any settings to change; it just takes effect once you install it, and it's called Date in Status Bar, and it does exactly what it says. It adds the date in your status bar, and that's really it. As you can see right here, it says. June 26th and next to the clock and that's really nice I really like the city tweak and I recommend downloading it Wi-Fi booster as well doesn't require any settings to change it takes effect right away inside your Wi-Fi settings as you can see in Wi-Fi settings looks a little bit different now what Wi-Fi booster does it gives the iPhone a little bit of a boost or it uses all the antennas power to reach the most far Wi-Fi networks as you can see these wouldn't appear for normal I just want to tell you that only this one that I'm connected to is the one that will appear if I am without Wi-Fi booster, but with Wi-Fi booster all of these will appear and that's very nice and it actually works. The next week is called Instagram Plus Plus and it supercharges the Instagram application. It basically allows you to download photos and do other stuff like having this cool full screen view. And as you can see if I go ahead and try to download something, I can go ahead and just tap and hold on it and then this will appear as you can see save with plus plus and now it's been saved inside my album as you can see save my photos app so it's really nice and it gives a lot of other features so check it out the next week is called round dock and it does simply what it says it makes your dock look a little bit more rounder as you can t see right here it doesn't have any settings to configure just change the look of the dock and it makes it a round the next city tweak is called long ccp and this is quite stolen from Android. If you tap and hold on a switch inside your control center, you can go ahead and go to access its settings. So if I tap and hold on the Wi-Fi settings, as you can see, it will redirect me to the Wi-Fi settings app. And this, as I said, is stolen directly from Android. The next week is called Flux, and it's written F.Lux. Now this allows you to change the temperature of your display, and it makes it warmer when you need it, and it makes it lighter when you need it as well so let me go and show you a little bit of what I mean so as you can see right here it changes at night and at daytime it simply needs your location to know that and it allows you to read easily and it's, 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 it's you know easier for the eye let's let's take a look at what it does so as you can see I'm at daytime here if I can change that as you can see I can make it more blue which would make which would be a lot better in night and as you can see it can make it warmer so when I'm out outside, it's a little bit better. So you can adjust that, 
to your liking and it really works and it's really nice city to tweak and it also works automatically so it's very nice and you don't even notice it and you find that it's very very nice the final tweak is called coal ball. Now basically what it, what it does if that if you have an incoming coal it basically will appear as a bar right here at the top without introducing with your with currently what you're doing so you can go and use the home screen use any application where you are in a call and I'm going to show you simply what this means also as you can see it looks like this and you can just enable it here to have it emerged with the uh, controls with the notification center you can set an activation method you know call whoever you want you know and you have a lot of options here it's a really nice city tweak that I really would like you to use and that's it guys that was the final tweak that we wanted to show to you this day I'm still having more videos coming soon like this so stay tuned for that and I'll catch you up in the next one